You've heard about salt mackerel rundown. How about curd rundown fish? Do you want to know how to make it? <laughs> Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think this is the first video for the new year, so happy new year to you all. As you can see from the title, today we're making some curried rundown fish. I know you must be saying, what is Shane talking about curried rundown fish? I know as Jamaicans, whenever we make rundown, it usually involves salt mackerel. But today, I am not using any salt mackerel, I am using whole fish all right and you know there are variations of the rundown you have rundown with salt mackerel and you have rundown with salt fish and i'm sure there are other things too but those are the two that i've seen all right so i have some ingredients here and i'll be going through step by step so that you can prepare this marvelous dish here um i will go through the ingredients if it is that i leave out anything you can check the description below i will definitely put in all the ingredients below here i have some sweet pepper we have uh some tomatoes this is one whole sweet pepper this is three tomatoes chopped i have one onion here along with four cloves garlic and one teaspoon of chopped ginger I have some carrots, I have thyme, I have a scotch bonnet pepper, and here's the fish. I have some seasoning here. In this, I have one tablespoon of all purpose seasoning, a half teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, and I've combined it. And this is what I'll be using to season the fish. All right, you can definitely check the, the description for all the things in the, in the right quantity, in the right amount. Now we're just gonna start by seasoning the fish. So we're gonna get some of the seasoning and we're gonna, you know, sprinkle on the fish. Ensure that we get into the cavities and all these spots. And we're gonna do this, we're gonna repeat this for all the fish here until everything is properly seasoned. And we're gonna just rub that in. All right, so same procedure until everything is complete, everything is seasoned. And as you can see, I've scored the fish on the sides and this essentially ensures the season uh, get inside, but it also helps in the cooking process. I'm not sure if you've, you've had experience cooking fish and whenever you put the fish in the pot, it begins to curl up, you know, so it helps when you score the fish on the side, it helps to keep the fish down. All right. All right, and we're just gonna set this aside and allow it to marinate for about five minutes. So we're gonna allow them to marinate for about five minutes and then here's the trick, we're gonna fry them. We're not just gonna add them to the rundown, all right? So we're gonna fry them. If we're gonna add it to the rundown, then essentially that would just be steam fish in coconut milk, all right? So we're gonna fry them first, get it crisp and nice, bring out some flavor and we're gonna make the rundown sauce add the fried fish to that allow it to cook you know and you know soak up some of that juice and develop the flavor all right so we're gonna set on some oil meanwhile this is marinating all right so to the pot we're gonna add one cup of oil to season this oil we're gonna add two cloves of garlic and half of a scotch bonnet pepper now just to develop some flavor in the oil. All 
right, so now that the oil is sufficiently heated, we're gonna add the fish one by one. them on both sides until they are golden. It's still starting to curl up here, don't mind that. gonna add the others and allow them to fry. is finished frying we've set on another pot and we've added some of the oil that we used to fry the fish and um, we're gonna heat this up a bit and we're gonna add two tablespoons of curry we're gonna add two tablespoons of curry to this
we're gonna add tomatoes, bell pepper, and we're gonna stir that around. Thyme, Scotch bunny pepper, stir it around. At this point, now we're going to add two cups of coconut milk. To this we're going to add some pimento seeds, about 2 teaspoons. And now we're going to add the remaining seasoning that we had used to season the fish. Stir this around. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with my tasting spoon so I can taste it if it needs adjustment. Doesn't taste bad, it needs a little bit more black pepper. So we're gonna add some black pepper. So we're gonna add about quarter of a teaspoon. And we're gonna stir that in. Look at this, it's getting nice and thick. This is what we want, this is what we're looking for. Alright, now we're going to add our fish, one by one. Alright, so now we're just going to spoon some of the sauce over the fish. We're going to allow it to cook for about 10 minutes just to absorb some of the flavor and then we will be serving the curried rundown fish. So it has been 10 minutes now and this is what it looks like I think it's ready to serve and just like that we have some curried rundown fish and you can serve this up with whatever you please you can serve it up with some crackers some pumpkin rice some plain rice some boiled food some whatever it is that you want to serve this up with um but yeah it is as simple as that rundown fish card rundown fish all right guys so you guys can go ahead and try this i mean it looks amazing the smell looks exquisite ah oh, can't wait to dig in um so i'm gonna wrap up the video now 
all right guys so that's it for today's video simple easy recipe of my curried rundown fish all right if you guys have never seen this before comment and let me know if you decide to try this wonderful recipe come back and let me know how it is that you how it is that it turned out if you liked it if you love the flavor if you love the taste and if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel here please do so uh, drop a like drop a comment because the aim is to get myself out there so people can you know follow my easy recipes if you haven't yet followed me on my other social medias um, you can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Cooking with Shane 876 and I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, be safe in the kitchen, keep cooking. Peace.